Hello there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the number of rows function. So number of rows as you can see is a very very straightforward function and what it returns is the total number of rows that you have in your table or in the chart if you are using a chart then think like uh, for example a bar chart uh, then think like it is present as a table like this then what are the number of rows in that chart so for example in this chart you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 rows so the output of the number of rows function will be 17 so for example if i add the number of rows function number of rows all right here I have added it which is a wrong because I selected the text so if I select this table then add the in a column as a measure number of rows what it returns is the 17 because it has 17 rows now let's say based on this row you want to do some sort of uh, expression some sort of calculation building for example if you are on row 17 then you want something else so if row number is number of 17 for example over here if i add a measure just to demonstrate this so if row number so row number basically returns the current row number in which we are and then we are saying if uh, row number is number of sorry number of rows which is 17 so if it is a 17 row then 0 otherwise sum of sales okay if this is what we want then for the last row you will get the 0 similarly you may have situations where you may want to use or you may want to get the last row where my last row is and based on that you want to produce some sort of an output so if that's what you need then you will going to use the number of rows function um, to build the custom logic but yeah that's a very simple and straightforward function and that's pretty much it i have for you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic